It's got to be a one. <laughs> Hear that sound? It's got to be thwack. It's got to be from there to about there, that you, the striking area. And it's a very handy little thing. For instance, when you're in a situation where you like this, see? Wah! Bang! Straight across the neck. And you can do it from all angles. You can do it from here, using the other side of your hand, which we'll do in a minute. But that's what we're going to be learning at the moment is like that, see, and that's a hell of a thing across the neck, of course. You can do it down low, just across the chest, just down there, which is going to cut right across his stomach meridian through there, breaking his collarbone. Don't do it, don't do it. Just, that breaks very easily, I know from experience that breaks very easily, especially around there, around the, uh, the clavicle notch. Takes the will to fight away when that's broken. We'll be dealing with that a little later in the next uh, mother application, anyway. So ah, that can happen just just there. See, there it is, right on the. If you just aim, whoa, oh, there it is, right there, right on the the clavicle, or of course across the neck. But you've got to make sure you get that that far jing. So you assume that you are either in the situation already and your hand will be like this end, so you just open and close it. Or you can assume you've taken a block, wah, there you go, wah, in from that side, you see? So we'll assume that you've, you, you start off just like that. You just do that in any case, you see? So it's just there. That's the sound you're looking for. That's a hell of a thing, of course, when aimed across the neck area, or even across this, as I said, across the clavicle. So once you get the idea of that sound, see, so wah, that sound, you've got to get that sound. If you get sort of that sound, it's no good. It's got to be that sound on the, on the bag. That indicates that you're doing far jing and not just a push, you see? So once you get that, then you can just put it down and you can just say, to you, like I just, just, your partner just grabs you. Whoa. Whoa. Don't hit anyone, for God's sake, especially across the neck with that. But then you can just bring that across there like that. Or you can take, if he's throwing a punch here, you can take it in there, see? And then, wah, straight across the collarbone. Wah, wah, right there. Ooh. Sorry, Eli. It's a lovely strike. You're not going to hurt yourself because this is using both bones, of course, to strike it across the collarbone. You don't strike it there, just strike it there, just across there, see? Okay, just have a look, everyone. Just come around this way, maybe, right? You can see where you sit. We're getting a lot of... This one here is an open shake. See how it opens when you strike? You've got to bring it across the elbows in when you bring this one across, so you closed up as if someone's maybe grabbed you or something. And when you open it up, you literally, if I just throw my waist to the right, see? See how then it, and then it springs back, and springs back to the left and then closes again, you see? So it's got to come like this, and then as it... If I just use my hand, watch the hand, I ju just won't use any waist movement. But this is what the hand does. So it's flicking out. Just watch, just watch the waist. Look. See how the waist sprung back in the finish. I don't know if you can see that see from where you see, I can't really slow it down. If you do the back fist into this, right? There's the old back fist. See how the body goes for the back fist? It's really an open shake and then a close. See, so it goes like so. So that's exactly the same. It's exactly the same as doing that. It's only that you, you do it in a different, different portion of your body, that's all. From here, never, remember, we're not giving the sucker an even break, all right? So we've got three fast ones straight after that. So we're going to go to that one. Right, maybe just lift that up a little higher so we're getting around the neck, around the neck area as well. Okay, so you've got to let the rebound from that first strike there it is. Ah. It's loaded again to release the elbow straight into it. <laughs> and follow with three. <laughs> okay, so but make sure each time you hit them with the elbow so you don't just go like this. 
and then stop it. Make sure when you hit him with the elbow, you're rebounding. Poof! See? Ready for... Poof! Poof! Ready for the second one, and then... Poof! 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 One, two, three. Straight after each other. Don't forget when you do these things, especially when you're doing those...